is our lead tonight. Blast balls and pepper spray, they are back on the table for Seattle police. Just before 9 o'clock tonight, a federal judge issued a restraining order against a new city ordinance that would have banned those crowd control measures. Now, there's some confusing legal ins and outs to this case, but here is the bottom line. Police are once again allowed to use this. 40 millimeter launchers, blast balls, CS gas, and pepper spray. But the judge also made it clear tonight the restraining order is temporary. And I urge you all to use it as an occasion to try and find out where it is we are, where it is that we're going. Now, the Department of Justice pushed for this, saying the ban would violate conditions of the department's consent decree. But there's not a lot of time to mull this over. Demonstrations are happening tomorrow. Let's bring in Cairo 7's Jessica O oh right now. And Jessica, this could really change how police are gearing up for the weekend. Absolutely, Monique. And Chief Best told us tonight that if this decision didn't come through, then the only weapons that officers would be allowed to use moving forward, including this weekend, would be riot sticks. And this decision will now able, enable police officers to use crowd control tactics moving forward. And they say that's absolutely necessary. Just take a look at the outside of the West Precinct. There are concrete barriers up for what's anticipated for this weekend. What is happening? is frightening to me. Federal agents are now in Seattle standing by, and Mayor Jenny Durkin's worried their presence will only make things worse as demonstrations continue this weekend. There has literally been posted on the internet a call to the fight um, with pictures of burning police cars. That's what we want to avoid. City leaders are extremely concerned that the combination of federal agents and violent instigators will lead to chaos on the streets similar to Portland. I assume they will continue their property destruction, their arson, their looting, and attempts to injure officers that are on duty. Nasty. It was totally uncalled for. Some stores are still cleaning up after being targeted on Sunday and Wednesday. Protesters tell us the damage that's happening is methodical, targeting places that aren't supportive of the Black Lives Matter movement. And there's more damage to where our city is, it feels like it's starting to fall down around us. What's at stake here is significant. She says federal agents are unpredictable and is urging people not to give them a reason to react this weekend. I'd like everyone to please consider their actions, particularly in light of the president making good on his threats. So, Jessica, these are local police that now are able to use these blast balls and pepper spray if they find that necessary. So what will the federal forces be doing here this weekend? Well, Monique, we know that they were deployed here in the first place to help protect the federal buildings, but city and state officials tell us that they don't know the extent of actions those federal forces plan on taking throughout their time in Seattle, and they say that really concerns them. Yeah, Mayor Durkin made it pretty plain. She doesn't want the federal agents to get involved. If they do, what can the city do? Yeah, they were very frank in the fact that if that happens, that all Washington officials will be united in taking every legal action possible against making sure that what happens in Portland doesn't happen here, Monique. Legal action, that takes time, and maybe we don't have a lot of time. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, we will be staying on this over the weekend.